Welcome back. This is the code we had from tutorial 2 and we're going to add, the, add to this in this one just to see how we can, for starters, add two numbers together. Again, it's quite a simple program but if you follow this through step by step it should give you a clearer understanding of exactly what's going on. So to do this we're going to have to add another input to get the second number. So after we've stored the first number which we've done here with STA num1 we're going to ask for another number to be input INP stands for input and then we're going to add the first number num1 to the number that is there. So let's see this working. So assemble the code into RAM and run. Now as you can see here we've got the first mailbox 0 stored for the input with a numerical code 901. The second one is for storing the number here 1 and we can see here with the STA numerical code. Mailbox 2 is set aside for input and we can see here 901 same as here because it's the same command. Now we've got the add stored in box number 3 that's the add function and there we can see the code for that 106. In mailbox 4 we've got 902 here which is for the out command for the output. 5 is simply the stored area for the halt command just a zero and 6 is the mailbox we've reserved for storage and as you can see it's currently just zero there and number six here is what we've reserved. Right, so if we start entering some numbers in, let's enter the number two, hit enter, you can see two is on the accumulator which is the first instruction we've entered and we can also see it's been stored in mailbox number six as you can see that's exactly what it would told us it would do. Now we can enter in a second number, let's put three in enter and 3 has not been stored anywhere because we haven't asked it to we've simply asked it to add number 1 to it so we get a result 5 on the accumulator and that is what's output straight away works perfectly that's a very again quite a simple program but it's a good one to try just to see what's happening I'm going to stop that now now there's another function here that can be quite useful. I'm just going to reset this and clear it all out. There we go. Nothing in the mailbox is except for my instructions. And I'm going to actually run this one again. But instead of just running here, I'm going to use the step function. Now this is really useful to go through things one at a time to see exactly what's happening. So if I hit 2 here, enter, now I have to press step to continue and you can see here the address register has gone to 6 which is where we're going to store number 2 and if I press step again there you have it you can now see that 6 mailbox 6 has 2 stored in just like we asked it for and we've basically got down to this command here now and it's waiting for another input so if I put 2 in this time press enter and press step you can see 2 comes up on the accumulator press step and it's coming now onto instruction 106 in mailbox 3 which we can see is the add command here press step again and you can see the add command has worked and it's added it to the first value so we get 4 on the accumulator so that's this command here is just executed and then finally we've got out so if we press step again, there we have it, the output command. You can see 5 here has now been hit, which is the halt command. The program comes to an end. Done. So that step function is really useful if you're not quite understanding what's happening with the program. You can actually go through it step by step by step and see exactly what's happening, what value you've got here on the accumulator when you're adding or subtracting something so you can see why things are happening. If you're not getting the output you expect, I, fu I fully recommend using this step function so you can go through it bit by bit and find out exactly what's going on. Okay, have a go at this and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.